Listen, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why India still borrows money from the World Bank. Some people say, doesn't India have enough dollars with it? Foreign exchange reserves are quite high. So why are we going out and borrowing money from the World Bank? Let's discuss this. But before we discuss it, let me tell you that today, even China borrows money from the World Bank. The same China that is lending billions of dollars all across the world to many countries still borrows money from the World Bank. So it's not just India that borrows money, China too. Let's see why. For India, China, both of them, the World Bank offers very good interest rates. For India today, for a 30-year loan, the interest rate would be about 5.5%. This year, India borrowed $1 billion from the international capital markets for 10 years. The interest rate was more than 7%. The World Bank will lend India money at 5.5% or so for 30 years. There's a big difference between a 10-year loan and a 30-year loan. It's very hard to get a 30-year loan. If India wanted to borrow money in the private markets for 30 years, probably no one would give that to India. So the only place you can get sizable amounts of money for 30 years at a reasonable rate is the World Bank. And that's why the World Bank is a welcome source of money when it comes to India and to some extent China too wants that money. So good loan terms is the reason India still borrows from the World Bank. Second reason is that when you borrow from the World Bank, you don't just get a loan. When you borrow from the international capital markets, you get a loan and that's it. But from the World Bank, you get quite a bit of support and advice. Even before the project implementation begins, during the phase of designing the project, the World Bank team will assist you in making sure that the project is likely to work well. Now, no one can say that a project will work well. It's not guaranteed. but the World Bank staff brings international knowledge and expertise. Indians bring Indian expertise and knowledge and together they can work out a plan which will make it easier to do the project, which will make the project happen. That's at least the theory. It doesn't always work out. Many projects fail. We know that. But the intent of the World Bank is there that its staff will help you design the project in such a way that it will succeed. Now, when it comes to implementation, the World Bank is around to help you monitor the progress and to try to find solutions with you if the progress is not good enough. And there's no charge for this. It's part of the cost of the loan and the interest rate on that is low and you're getting this service for free. So this service is very helpful. This service is why China wants to borrow money from the World Bank because what you get are dedicated people, motivated people who come and work with you. Now, I know some people will say all this is hogwash. The World Bank is an evil dictatorial agency that comes and crushes the country's independence. Right. They've crushed India's independence. They've fooled Mr. Vajpayee, they've fooled Mr. Manmohan Singh, and they've fooled Mr. Modi. And all three of them have bent their knee to the World Bank. That's hogwash. But the truth is that all of the three prime ministers that India has had in this century have recognized that World Bank loans are a good deal for India and that the World Bank loans can help India make its economy go better. So that's the reason why India still borrows from the World Bank. That's all for this video. See you next time. Till then, bye.